Before beginning the microinjection protocol, please read through the manuals for the needle puller and the microinjector. Turn on the needle puller. We use thin-walled World Precision capillary glass tubes to pull needles. They are filamentous, 4 inches long, are 1 mm in outer diameter, and 0.75 mm in inner diameter. We use a heat ramp of plus 10, a pull of 60 to 90, a velocity of 80, a delay of 90, and a pressure of 200 to get needles with a tip diameter around 1 micron. These settings have been entered as program 6 on the machine. Open the lid of the needle puller. Release the sliding capillary tube holders by pressing the latches. Make sure that the screws on the holders are loose. Slide the capillary tube through the silver filament within the box at the center of the machine. Be careful not to break the capillary tube. Position the tube so that it is centered in the holders and tighten using the screws until you experience a little resistance. Close the lid. Enter program number 6. Push the push to enter button and then press start to begin the pulling. And then you just kind of want to zoom in into the box. You see the filament. And then it's going to pull. And then it's pulled. Carefully unscrew the capillary tube holders and remove the pulled needles. Place the needles on the sticky side of a piece of tape in a petri dish. This will prevent the needle from breaking. Follow the steps on the written microinjection protocol to shear and calibrate your needles. Before microinjecting, familiarize yourself with the microinjector. Know how to move and operate all the components. This will make it much easier to maneuver and inject during the procedure. The first step of microinjecting is to load your needle with morpholino using a thin drawn pipette tip. Make sure there are no bubbles in the needle. Insert the needle into the micro manipulator and set the system. Place zebrafish embryos in a piece of auger that has grooves in it. Position the embryos in the grooves. This will stabilize the embryos when you are injecting. Pour Danio solution in the petri dish with the agar in the embryos. Make sure the pressurized air canister next to the hood is open. Turn the knob on the top to release the pressurized air. Position the needle so that it is in line with a row of embryos. Use the knobs to raise and lower the needle. Walking through the microscope, pierce the embryo using the knobs and make sure the needle goes into the yolk sac of the zebrafish. Press the foot pedal. This injects a small amount of morpholino into the embryo. If the pressure of the apparatus is set too high, the pulse duration is too long, or the diameter of the needle tip is too large, the embryo may burst. If this occurs, you may need to adjust the pressure, pulse, or switch to a new needle. When moving to the next embryo, move the petri dish rather than the needle. This will allow you to inject many embryos at a rapid pace. 